morning. My name is Dave McMahon. I'm the chairman of the Tough Light Rod and Gun Club Northern Challenge. We've been running this derby now for 15 years. As you can see out on the ice after, uh, we have about 900 people out there all fishing for some great prize money. We pay out $6,400 for fish throughout the day. We also have $6,500 in door prizes. And the big draw is the two brand new four wheelers that we get from Sportline Power out of Lens Falls. Our derby is an economic boost to not just this area, but areas throughout our surrounding towns. All of our motels and stuff right now are filled, and we're actually sending people to other uh, areas. We sent people to the hotels in Long Lake, uh, Saranac Lake. Saranac Lake is having their winter carnival right now, and their motels are pretty much full. Um, the restaurants, the gas stations, uh, our steward shop here in Tupper Lake was open all night last night, and she said that she has made more money in this one day than they have all week. People often ask, what do you do with your money? Well, we have an enormous kids program here. Um, we have an archery program, we have hunter ed programs here that we run throughout the year, and everything we do for the kids is absolutely free. We also support our military greatly. Any active military that comes to any of our events, whether it's a fishing derby or archery shoot, uh, anything that goes on at our club, comes here, they eat for free, they uh, participate for free, and it's totally on us. This is our way to thank our military for supporting us and keeping us safe over here in uh, the United States. This is the 15th year uh, of the Northern Challenge. And like I said, we have approximately 900 people here today. Our numbers throughout the year, with the economy dropping all over the place, the economy here is fairly decent because we continue every year to draw 900 people. The big draw, again, is the four-wheelers. Um, the kids that come here, we have probably $1,500 worth of stuff inside the trailer here that we give to the kids and encourage them to get away from the TV, get outside, and enjoy the outdoors. It's too often today that we see too many kids sitting around with PlayStations and little electronic games, and our outdoor sports are dying. This is one way that we encourage these people to get out and get involved in the outdoors. Every year offers us a different challenge here. It's ice conditions, the number of people we have, but it's constantly growing and gaining a lot of popularity in this area. One year we had, we could have used boats out here. We had, the ice was so thin and so many people, the, the, the whole lake was actually sagging and you, when you drilled your hole, you could see the water coming up from the hole. It was quite an experience. But it, this is more fun than fishing it. It's, I rather work it, giving out the prizes, watching all the people, bringing in their fish, it's really a lot of fun.